Hello and welcome to round two of this box tournament uh, from Face to Face Games here in Toronto. Uh, my name is Travis Provick. And I'm Shane Rubin. And uh, we have a game here between Sam and his Han Ray deck, which he has played uh, at a lot of tournaments to great success, uh, versus Andy and a uh, Poe Hired Gun Trooper deck. So not necessarily a, a standard deck. It'll be interesting to see what... Uh, what he's got in there. Uh, of course, with as with most Poe decks, he's playing uh, Emperor's Throne Room, and uh, it looks like um, Starship Graveyard on the other side. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, standard hand ray. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a hand ray deck without Starship Gra Graveyard, nor have I seen them give it up for the shields either. No. Well, they the... love that deck. Yeah. They love that. It's. I think it's the most battlefield. Wow. Definitely one of the most battlefield dependent decks for its efficiencies. It, it just works so well because you can overwrite the holdout blasters for shields and multiple activations on Ray, and then retrieve it from your graveyard at the end of the round um, to do the whole thing again next turn. So it's kind of one of the the things that kind of drives the efficiency even more. There's already the efficiency like ambushes, giving Ray double activations and a shield for Han is pretty big, but. So on the roll off, yeah, it was won by, by Poe, which is really good for Poe. Yeah, definitely that is going to be way more advantageous a battlefield for like. There's very little that uh, very elite little. Han the needs force force raise. throw probably the only thing of real note and the lightsaber. Um, yeah, I know, but I don't really know if the deck plays either of those. Han Ray, I some variants do play the the force yeah. throw. Um, uh, and they do like the, and some other ones do because of the redeploy with lightsaber. Yeah. But yeah, they, there's ones that don't. So it's not a guarantee on either one. It's a good start for Henry, though, to get the Jedi uh, robes because that you know will only last this round and they'll override it with some other two cost upgrade next yeah. turn. Well, they, they may override it with a two cost upgrade this turn. Like, I mean, <laughs> very, it's put very a possible. Put blaster on it. And, although if, he had a, if there was a holdout okay. blaster in his hand, he would have played it already. Uh, so got a cunning on the hired gun. Um, and has a special die, so be able to do some, some post shenanigans if he would like. I don't think he's holding any in hand. So he has a, it's a trap in hand, which is interesting. I can see it. It's not a traditional deck to have it in. Um, but post, you know, post damage dice are pretty strong. Uh, but, just that he's was, missing was, a red oh, yeah. dice. Was that a Did falcon it? there? No. It was, yes. Yeah, no, it's, it's falcon. Yeah, it's falcon, so. He does have something that he can check. Mm -hmm. Um. No real reason to hold it back, I don't think. Uh, probably will go with the four damage. Uh, oh, he's going to put it on Ray. Mm -hmm. I think Ray settled in as the standard choice um, of who you should attack first. Because Han is A, very hard to kill. That's where the second chances go. And Ray enables the shenanigans. Um, she does, but without Han's dice is where a lot of the damage does come from in the deck. So without those dice, it, it it's a bit of a harder slog. Like raised dice are not great for damage. But then, uh, to, agreed, agreed. And it like I said, it's not an easy choice. It's just once you get rid of Ray, a lot of times you can mitigate Han's dice when you can't otherwise, because, especially when they get the loop going. The bad thing about going for Ray, and you never know, but you know what's going to come if you can't get rid of her soon enough, and he has it in his hand already, is the one with the Force. So you're right. going to pile a ton of damage in to get old dead bed attacking you every round after that. Uh, of course, that special is not so good when you don't have a, a vehicle or an upgrade in your hand. But so I think I see a surgical strike in his hand, which is interesting. I guess he's had enough of the the, the backup muscles. Um, and I I guess having one Poe hit you um, is enough to have hand concentrate on on Poe oh. over the cunning Highland gun. I, this is another instance of someone decided to uh, discard uh, at the end of the turn. When they could have discarded to reroll, um, so that's un always unfortunate. So Sam's going first here. I don't think he has any obvious upgrades. I don't see the holdout. No, he, he doesn't really have any of the pieces that he wants to see. So he's just going to go with go uh, straight to the one, one with the force. force. Interesting. I mean, Sam is definitely the best person in real life, probably the best person playing Han Ray that I've ever played against, so 
question of decisions. It seems a bit early for when Han Ray players do it. I just don't think he has the efficiency otherwise. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just it's a good die, right? There's yeah. no blanks. Uh, it's got lots of focus. No, I totally agree. There's, I think there's a lot of upsides to doing it. The only downside being that you might that you might have the other person switch targets, which might be what you want anyway. They might switch over to Han. I mean, if if you can convince someone to uh, change their mind after they put a little damage on someone, it's usually a, a rough decision. Splitting the damage is uh, yeah. not great. And it turned out to be a great choice because he gets the triple focus into a lot of damage. Especially given Ray had rolled, uh, so yeah, so he was able. He was looking at doing eight damage off yeah. that focus, which before when he had none or two, I think he was a little greedy by uh, going with the black die and uh, modifier on the Ray dice. Might have just gone with uh, two black dice and made sure our damage is going through. Anyway, so that's, so that's five damage that. Uh, now, Andy did an interesting Perfect. thing there. He he rolled in the the trooper. I think he he must have pulled he pulled the single. That's why. Okay, that's why he did that before. He pulled the single. We usually see the trooper kind of hold off as long as possible. Right. Uh, just great. Hit the blaster pistol. Rolls in uh, Poe. Got some damage there. Yeah, the mysterious ray Sam passes. Mysterious ray discard side. <laughs> Whenever you roll, it's like I don't want to use this. What's this even doing on this character? It's a trap here. Nope, he's going to discard. Hit the trap yep. to uh, <laughs> yeah. reroll. So some, showing some damage on Decent the trooper. Damage. So it's another four damage on Ray. Just halfway, halfway gone to becoming a ghost. Yep. And I mean, there's five damage split between Poe and the the trooper. Um, but you know, the the trooper and guardian does make it a little trickier for, um, for Sam to be able to to finish someone off cleanly. But both these decks do have the capacity. I mean, we've certainly seen it with Henry here and the extra activations. Oh, we haven't seen the hold up blaster craziness yet. But we've seen with Poe to cheat out damage out of nowhere. So even if it's not showing on the board, you always got to wonder, like, how is my character going to die, right? Yeah. The so Falcon can come for four. Straight up activates Han at the, off the bat here. Pulls off the two onto the trooper. Does his job. That's Rolls not his blank. job, but... Yeah, <laughs> he's, not a tr he's not a stormtrooper. He's a rebel trooper. Yeah, they're not much little, better. little better shot. Ow. Half as many blanks. Take that back. I'm I'm more meant in canon than uh, on <laughs> That's the card. True. Really, I think at this point they're just there for for Vader to toss around. And we're really really cool hats. Yeah. So that's a higher becoming an impressive hired gun. Um, I mean when when the. Uh, when Poe does go away, the cunning's gonna become a lot less useful, but you know, he's he's stacking up some pretty serious damage right now while he has other dice to go with the jetpack off of. Um the melee damage uh and disrupt. Although I take to take it back, the cunning off the jetpack special could also save You're right. some some ray damage, although ray damage not what you're worried about, but No, but it's still, it's still mitigating dice. Not a bad Definitely. thing. Especially, yeah, if she comes up with that plus two and you gotta fix it. Oh, Ben is... Old Ben is angry. That's a good chunk of damage there. That is eight damage showing for for Hanrei. Which can take pull out. It's not handle. Oh, there does have a special on the jetpack you can use. She does to save one. Uh, but that makes it not fatal, so that's good. Certainly would be a subpar one, but you always got to think too if you're if you're that close that the repost can come pretty easily. Like an well, this that alone would be enough where you can get more shields fairly sure. easily hand and then repost you down. Well, you discarded it to reroll, so oh, repost, or or reposta, or however you want to pronounce it. That rolls Poen. Not very spectacular dice. I 
wonder what uh, is considered here. Oh, it looks like a scavenge. scavenge. That's an interesting choice. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, he's probably you know rightfully assuming if he hasn't mitigated the three and the three yet, yeah. he doesn't have any way, so it's really not a rush to do it. So you can see that Sam's elected to go with the Awakening in Hanrei, which you don't see all often. You see sometimes. Sure. Just I think as people play, kind of ebbs and flows for Hanrei players. Uh, how sick they get of seeing those uh, modifiers not go undamaged. Yeah. And for people who don't know, Awakenings allow you to resolve a blue side or a plus. As a modifier if, side, yeah. As if it was a base. The discards to re-roll the whole midfall here. Uh, did Oof. not end up much better off. Get a uh, lot of resources there. Get a bunch of money and a damage if he wants, or... I'm sure that's not what he's looking for at this point. With Poe on Death's Door. So interestingly, Sam just didn't resolve both at the same time. Well, I think he wants to um, give himself the option to mitigate a die potentially here. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't want to give the opportunity for a double pass. Mm. And lose the damage for good. Because if he were to pass, instead of yeah, using no, one... Yeah, he can't fish, risk that. So that he splits it up just to kind of delay as a delaying action. Oh, he's shooting first. Ah, that's why he's doing it. Okay, that makes sense. So he wants to play the ambush card, shoot first to resolve that other dice. So what that says is you resolve one of your guns and take away a gun's dice on the other side. Yeah. Which in retrospect, as expert commentators we are, should have seen that coming, yes. given his actions. And then, not just assuming he was missing obvious things. Oh no, I, I, yes, I didn't think that. I, I, Speaking more for myself. Yeah, yeah. Is it bad that I don't recognize that card? Oh, the um, natural talent? Yeah. Yes. It's not particularly bad because you rarely see it play, but it increases the... You resolve a dice, increasing its value by one. Um, so it does kill Ray, which... Uh, so use the force uh, when a character that is attached to is killed becomes a support card. Um, so it stays in play and can be rolled in as a support. So that's good. So um, we're looking at three characters to one now, but Han's got a lot of survivability. Poe is very unlikely to uh, survive this round, I would say, honestly, given some rerolls and the focus is off Ben and the damage off Ben. Uh, so I still think it's looking pretty good for the Han Ray player myself. Um, although that I'm is an sure impressive, that. impressive hired gun. Yeah. So hit and run to uh, it's an ambush card to roll in Poe. And then puts uh, some damage on Han, or really just works through his shields. Uh, Han rolls in, it looks like some disrupt, some disrupt. shields, and uh, some money. Money, not what Sam was probably hoping for. Yeah, you really, the disrupt, you mainly uh, want to see it first or second turn. Like you see a lot of times, that's a devastating first turn for Han Ray, yeah. is, to, is to hold up Blaster into the disrupt to take away your opponent's money. It, it's such a temple killer. But later on, much less so. So here's the focus die from uh, use of force, so or one with the force. So, so that's he doesn't have enough money, so but it could be eight damage. But the trooper hasn't rolled in yet, so if he he has to be careful about what he focuses in, into exactly. Although he could focus into two bases, so. And he's thinking about whether he wants to spend the dollar or just do one less damage. Chooses to go for the three for one resource. One of the two. I thought it was one of the bottom. No, the two twos for free. Yeah. Because yeah, it always it always hurts with guardian to uh, uh, give them a damage for free if it's a if it's a cost. I think at that point I might have uh, used the shield first and not bothered activating the. Uh... The trooper. Mm -hmm. Right, and that would have forced one more dice and not or, damage. Yeah. 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 I think you're right. I think that would have been the better play there. Travis was just saying, keep, grab a shield and save the two damage on the trooper because uh, there's no way you could save Poe. So might as well use up another dice. 
Yeah, I mean, the damage is probably going to end up on the trooper anyways, mm -hmm. um, but you can reduce damage by one. I mean, it's a it's a small inch, but... Yeah, and you'll, you know, you're, you're going to put more damage on the trooper yourself, right? That's what he's for. Especially when you have all your upgrades on <laughs> the other character. So Andy puts a hunker down on his hired gun, so we've got some shields there. We see the same thing on Han. Dueling hunkerings. Not really great options for cunning at this point. May consider replacing it. That's what it looks like he's doing. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so certainly if you can upgrade it. Because you lost the melee dice. So yeah, you're right at this point. Yeah, so pretty standard. I mean, you just have to pay the difference when you uh, replace a, an upgrade on a character. And discards the. Uh... Oh. Is he only the plus three and uh, uh, that looks like an angry reaction. <laughs> yep. Now the alternative you could have done, although I think his play was the better one, is you could have actually overwrote the jetpack yeah. with the IQA to give another cunning target. But here you have perhaps less consistent, but more yeah. uh, bursty damage with the jetpack. You could also have put the thermal detonator over the jetpack. Uh, and then try to fire try that off with the cunning before moving to some other one. But with one, only one character, so it's not that tempting. No. I mean, right now, Ben, single yeah. dice is better than either of his opponents' sure. like other dice, so it's kind of like two characters to two characters. While, while it's showing a low number, he electroshocks it to take it out of play. Mm -hmm. So electroshock only works on two dice effect. showing two or fewer. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, if he rolls his kind of massive damage, his big damage numbers or his big uh, focus numbers, they can be a bigger problem. So, I think that's a good play on Andy's part. And Andy's sitting on, uh, I mean, he's got a hit and run, it looks like. Uh, we, I don't think he wants to hit and run the, the trooper. <laughs> and I guess you could put down the gun. But he's waiting for hand to roll in before putting down the gun, Absolutely. obviously. Yeah, so. so, that might go over the jetpack. And then he's just kind of... Don't don't do it. What are you doing? <laughs> That's fine. I guess, I guess he can try to use the. I mean, he's sitting at three shields and nine health. He's he's got some time, but. No, I know. I, I just like yeah. What did he use to do with a special there? He, okay. Yeah, he, he did, realized the special doesn't do anything. Do anything? Well. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't even get him a shield. So he just took, took the dollar. Oh, taking oh, the yeah, dollar, sorry. I think. For he's reacting to the uh, blaster. I'm not falling. Oh, he's removing a dice. Yeah, sorry. We were just talking about the blaster for him. Yeah. And he has to remove a dice, so he removed the money. Uh, Which is interesting. He removed the money. I guess he just figures he doesn't need any, because well, all, no, all he, the jetpack at him is a shield. He removed the, di he removed the one that he was going to replace. Mm -hmm. I really would have considered replacing the jetpack, but... Yes. It's an interesting choice, seeing how the money is not really that consequential right now. All right, sacrifice the trooper with Guardian. Unfortunately, yeah, two base dice problem. Just looking at five, I believe. That's the plus three. Yeah, that's a considerable amount of damage coming through when Han still has 13. Right. And shield generating engine. Oh. He's discard for single dice is... But he's gotten he's gotten blanks both times, which is some pretty bad luck. Um, seeing how the jetpack could help considerably there. But trying again. Let's hope for him. Nah, disrupt on no money. That nope. same thing. <laughs> you can clear the shields off Han so he can start hunkering down some more. <laughs> That's true. He's got to start playing some more ambush. So I think, I mean, Andy, what can Andy do here? I don't know if he, with only one yellow character, I don't think he'd be playing second chance. He may be. Um, other than that, I think he's got to rely. I, I doubt it. On, he's got a field medic there. He's got to rely on some lopsided roll lock here, I think, going forward. He's got a field medic and a dug in. So shields. 
Two shields, obviously. Electroshocked away. Sam rolls Han in. Got some damage. Some resources. So Field Medic removes the two damage off the hired gun. Who's not activated yet, I think. He just hasn't. Yes, you're right. He has not activated yet. He's from the Shane school of uh, sloppy activations and tappings. Everyone knows what's going on, right? Uh, that's, uh, there's, there's some more damage there now. Yeah, he's hitting on five. Which is half, halfway to a dead higher gun, even healed up. And the two disrupt, which, oh. depending, I mean, he's got most of his stuff out, although a third, you know, impactful upgrade might be what he's thinking about. So the two disrupt isn't bad. Oh. Electroshock, I want to die there. Three damage to Han, which puts two actual damage. And then five coming back. Two shields in the jetpack. Yeah, I guess it was two shields. He couldn't really claim, although at some point. I think you definitely want to make sure you get the battlefield over. Yeah. Because it's supposedly when he's sitting on the dog game. Yeah. Was well, in an awkward situation now, though, because... Oh, he's out of cards as well. Well, there's that, too. But I, I'm, I'm more thinking of the fact that um, even with the three shields, it's still very possible for Han to do enough damage. Oh, Absolutely. And I, I really think I would have replaced the hunker down at this point. You need, you need to be getting damage out a little bit quicker. Yes, I, I think Han definitely probably considering the hold up blaster over the hunker down because he's going to get the activation anyway. He doesn't need the particularly need the money. He, if he can just pump through damage, no, nope, it goes straight. Hard to give up a hunker down, I guess. I think that's partially it, but he also will get a shield off the blaster pistol. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're saying you can replace it after? Okay, so five damage mm -hmm. to Han. It puts him at four total after his shields are done. I suppose having the three money is also a big safety valve for just second chance. But you can yeah. play that over top of the... It looks like two focus blaster. off Ben, which, oh, which is going to be... a ton of damage he's got well, it's enough to pay for because he can yeah. go for two threes i have enough money to pay for so and yeah. that should be game if he doesn't can't do anything about it yep uh hein loves his tricks so he plays the uh, heavy blaster pistol over the heavy blaster pistol for free making him remove a dice and then goes for the kill just yeah. extra cheeky well, just in case there's anything that there are things that could happen here to to with it, but yeah. doesn't look like that's the case. So, good game to Sam. Uh, I think uh, Andy was close there. I think I think he had a shot. Yeah, I definitely think there was points that day, and before that big, there was a damage turn. I think where he did uh, seven, I believe, like kind of in one to really blow Poe up. From, yeah, and, and Poe fought back by getting rid of Ray. Um, so that was a good, nice swing back the other way. Um, but yeah, there was Andy. I think Andy definitely had a, a good early. Early game amount of damage and survivability, but then uh, just had hand ray hand really started got got going on the uh, upgrades and the damage after that. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you'll join us again soon.